Hello Glamettes, welcome back to Glam Queen of DIY and if you're new, welcome. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you two Glam DIYs using mirror mosaic tile and diamond rhinestone clothes chain. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications. Alright Glamette, let's get this DIY project started. And we're going to be using these Dollar Tree stemless wine glasses, these Dollar Tree hurricanes, this mirror mosaic tile from bbcraft.com, this diamond rhinestone chain from bpark.com, and this rustoleum two times the coverage satin high gloss orange harvest spray paint now what we're going to do is paint our pieces and be back now if you're watching and you're new to the channel make sure you do subscribe to the glam queen of diy and hit that notification bell and this portion of the video is sponsored by hippo.com hippo reached out to me to uh bring this fabulous cordless hot glue gun to you guys and my package came like this off we're already taking it out of the big box but they have regular glue sticks and also glitter glue sticks you guys and i will tell you from using this glue gun this would be the perfect 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 glue gun if you wanted to use your glitter glue the package came with the instructions this is the glue gun base and it sits on it like this it comes with a usb cord the power button is here on the side it plugs up and connects on the back it's ergonomically a fabulous hot glue gun and what I'm going to do, you guys, we're going to charge this thing up so I can let you see how this glue gun works. Don't forget, make sure you do check out Hippo's information down in my description box. Now that I've charged the gun, you see it is green. This was actually red at first, you guys. So when you first power it up, it's red to let you know it's getting ready to do what it does. And I did have a little bit, you guys, of uh, hot glue seepage. If you use glue guns, you know when they're heated, it'll seep. But once this thing turned green, you guys i was so amazed i only had two drops hear me clearly you guys two drops of glue that dripped from this gun and i actually kept this glue gun plugged up when i was doing this project for a little over two hours so the full charge did last when i finished this project you guys my green light went off which indicated it was time for me to charge again so you guys i got about two and a half hours charge time off of this hot glue gun which it tells me if you're doing your regular crafting and diy projects this is the perfect perfect project for you now let me tell you something else about this glue gun you guys that truly shocked me on my other piece you know i do i like symmetrical looking things so i do two pieces as opposed to one on that first piece that i did you guys when i connected the two pieces i could not let me reiterate that again i could not separate the two pieces because i didn't fully line them up and you may be able to see it when i show you both of them again but i could not separate them which that was amazing and i that was a plus in my book and after that you're gonna see me messing with this glue guys and you know for crafters the one thing we hate it's those hot glue burns let me tell you guys as much as i use this glue gun and touching that glue and you're gonna see me a couple times hit that glue and peel it off the glue never ever burned my hands i don't know if it's hippo's glue stick or it's the makeup of this glue gun i will find that out and bring you guys that information and if it is actually from their type of glue sticks i would get a link for those for you crafters so we can have a whole lot more unburned and unmarked hands from doing these diy projects but i will get that to you now you guys you know i will always give you my honest opinion i'm telling you 
I got about two other glue guns that I love. So as of right now, this hippo and my other large and small gun that I do like to use, I keep them out on my crafting table, which this will be a permanent feature for me using in my DIY craft so please make sure you go over and check out Hippo all of their information again is down in the description box thank you for reaching out to me Hippo to do the sponsor video I appreciate it so very much now you guys continue to follow me along as we complete these two glam high-end DIYs
you to my loyal family thank you for continuing to rock out with your girl you know none of this will be possible without you and you guys we're on that road to that 50k continue to share the channel with your family and friends and also share all of the glam queen branded channel that's the glam queen of diy the glam queen of the poor glam queen unboxing and glam queen box i want to tell you guys thank you so so very much also stay tuned we will have a live video coming in the next couple of days and it's actually going to be a life and health update for you guys for continuing to show your girl so much love and support
Now that completes these two DIYs. I hope they inspired you. Drop me a comment if this is a DIY you'll replicate. Please don't forget to make sure you do go over and uh, check out Hippo. Their link and information is down in my description box. I also did include a clip of these pieces style. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, don't forget... If you're not a part of that Glam Queen branded family, make sure you do subscribe to the Glam Queen of DIY, the Glam Queen of Decor, Glam Queen Unboxing, and Glam Queen Vlog. Now, if you've been rocking with your girl for a while, you know I can't close out without letting you know to always, always, always be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move i'll see every one of you in another upcoming video bye everyone stay blessed and always stay positive make sure you check out for all of the lineups that we do have coming for you for this month of august and september as well y'all have a blessed and wonderful day